Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. My name's Abby and today I'm back for another daycare vlog. Today is Thursday, um, it's about 8.15. I have four out of my six kiddos here so far. We are planning to do circle time today and right now the kiddos are just playing. They have free play time from like, until about 10 o'clock when we have morning snacks. So that's what we're up to. Um, they built their so, themselves a little fort in the corner. So I'll show you that. I'm to get in the middle. Who is? Mads. You can't go in the middle, Mads. You gotta crawl. Nope. This looks so good. You gotta crawl in here. Come here. Abby, I can... So the only time I will build a fort is on a Monday or a Friday when... My youngest isn't here because she would just tear it down. So, but the other days, my one little girl like loves to make forts, so she'll try to make her own. And she's getting pretty inventive and creative with her fort building, so I'm impressed. Um, for a four year old, I think it's pretty good. Um, my three big girls have like these braids in their hair. I braided one of the girls here yesterday, and then the other two came in, and they and the one girl's like, um, who did her hair? And I was like, I did. She's like, well, and then she needed braids. She could be a little bit of braids. And then her little sister was like, I need braids too. And I'm like, all right. So I've been playing hairdresser this morning. Wow. Um, cool. I think I'm going to turn off Dora and put on Disney. Disney Plus. I. Oh my goodness. Sorry, girl. Hey, relax. I, um, you're okay. She didn't mean to. Um, I try to put on a show that's kid friendly. It's definitely kid friendly, but something that I like to watch. So I'm, yesterday I put on Good Luck Charlie. Um, so I'm going to put that on today because kid friendly and it's a little bit more entertaining than Dora the Explorer. I was watching Full House, but I kind of got bored with that. So we're going to watch some Good Luck Charlie. They're going to play, and we will catch up with you in a little bit. Oh, what a pretty song you're playing. Oh, my God, I'm head of Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are those? Um, what are those? Um, Abby, a cookie. A cookie. Yes, ma'am. She doesn't want me to help her. What do you want to help her do? I want to help her do the... How about, Mila, can you ice them and then Lainey can stick them in the oven? Mm -hmm. Okay, when you're done with that part, give it to Lainey. Okay, Lane. Here, you going to stick it in the oven for her? You're going to stick it in that way? Isn't it nice to play together? Yeah. Good. That's the boss. This one. Whoa, what are we doing over here? What you got in your bag? Who are you gonna call? You don't know. <laughs> oh, you wrapped her baby. That's so nice. What are you doing over here? You calling? Hi. What? Oh, you're icing them together. I'm so glad to see you guys playing together. It's so nice. I'm Boston. Perfect. What are you girlies doing? Can I have this? Yeah, you can play with it. Can Everly play with it with you? Yeah. Oh, it's nice to play together, huh? Good job. No, oh, you don't want to play anymore? So, one of our friends is pretty emotional today. She's just like a little sad. Um... So hopefully she perks up a little bit, but I'm trying to like really encourage this playing together thing because they all lately have been very, they find the toys they want and they want to play by themselves and they don't want the other kids to come around. At least some of them, not all of them. Um, so when they, yeah, it's so nice to play with your friends and you're not going to, tomorrow's your last day for the summer. So you're really going to miss your friends, huh? Yeah. So you got to play with them. Yeah, so tomorrow one of my little girls, it's her last day for the summer because her mom's a teacher. So we're going to have a popsicle party tomorrow. Hey, hey, don't take that from her. Listen, it's okay. Maddie said it's fine. Okay, thank you for trying to help her, but it's okay. All right, you can play with them. Do you want to help them build something? 
Um, so I'm trying to really give some positive reinforcement when they are playing together um, because lately they've been fiercely independent little girls and that's fine but it's also nice when they play together and share and yeah they have to learn that part of part of socializing too so I uh, little girls I would say growing up I had more experience with boys because I had like younger brothers and my cousins all had most of my cousins had majority little boys so these girls these last couple years I've had majority girls I think throughout all of my time in daycare I've had majority girls but now I only have one boy and he comes two days the rest are girls and girls are just a whole different ball game they're we're a lot more emotional and that's not a bad thing and some a lot of them are very stubborn and very independent and that's not a bad thing either and it's like hard thing to navigate because you don't want to squash that out of them but they also have to learn how to cooperate with others and teaching that to a toddler can be very tricky hey don't you do that the baby just knocked over the one little girl's tower um so yeah that's just something i deal with on a daily basis um trying to find the balance between letting them have that independence and their stubbornness and their because that's that's not a bad trait because that develops into, you know, they stand up for what they want and what they believe in. <gasps> oh, you found Belle. Oh, a baby bear. Um, so, I have to find the balance between that and also, like, being kind to our friends and playing together. So, that's what I do on a daily basis is help them with their social skills. So, so cute. You can play with it until she wants it back, okay? Um, but I'm going to go deal with this block situation. And we'll probably be back at morning snack time. So, we'll see you then. How's everybody's snacks? Good? Good? Thumbs up? How's your snack? Thumbs up? Cool. How's your snack, baby? She liked it. I made myself a smoothie. It just has frozen fruit, water, and some collagen, and a little bit of Truvia. Sweeten it up a bit. Um... The baby also has a yogurt. I'm going to give her some of that once um, she finishes this, finishes up her popcorn. But yeah. So after we're done with snack, who knows what we're doing? Um, circle time. Circle time. Yeah, but what do we have to do before circle time? Color. No. Clean up. Clean up. Ding, ding, ding. You guys going to get a star today? Mm-hmm. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna finish up snack and then clean up the toy. All right, everybody, here is our big old mess today. Are you guys gonna get a star? Yeah! All right, let's go. All right, everybody, they did it. Look how clean. You guys yeah. did a great job. Yeah. Now let's get our star let's see if we can do this pattern see if you guys can do it they've been struggling with the patterns lately all right ready let's say it green pink green pink green pink green pink green pink green yay we did it good job all right, I'm gonna give everybody either a heart, a star, or a smile on their hand because everybody helped today, except for the baby, but it's fine. And then we are gonna do circle time and do some learning. You ready for circle time? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Alrighty, guys, so I'm gonna do a little voiceover for circle time. So there was my circle time board and the kiddos all sit on these little dots. And the first song we do is our good morning song. And then we do an alphabet song where we go through and say the letters. And I also say words that start with each letter as we go through them. And then they sing through the alphabet twice. Um, once the balloons have lowercase letters and this last time through they have capital and lowercase letters and then right now we are working on the letter Q so we do a letter Q song that goes through different things that start with the letter Q and I talk to the kids I'm like remember that's a Q and it says qua 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 as we're singing the song and then we do a video where they learn how to write the letter Q and then after doing circle time three times we will practice writing the letter Q um, so it goes through capital and lowercase and then we move on to days of the week and it goes through the days of the week several times the kids sing it normally first then quiet then loud then they stomp their feet clap their hands and then we go over what the day is now so we talk about what yesterday was first and I see I try to show them like look there's a W Wednesday and then I go through what today is and we kind of say the days 
and they figure out what comes after Wednesday and then I have one of the kids come up and find Thursday we determined it was Thursday and she found it and she showed her friends that is Thursday and I talk about it's Thursday th says th th Thursday um, and then we talk about what tomorrow will be and they were able to find Friday and Friday starts with an F and I go over the F sound she wasn't able to find the Friday so I showed her what it looks like and then she was able to match it up and then she got to pick one of her friends to come put it up and she picked her sister so she put it up there and then we'll move on to our month so we talk about that our month is June and it's the first day of June um, and we sing this month song and so when they hear June they're supposed to raise their hand and we'll go through and sing through the months three different times with that song and each time they're supposed to raise their hand and then I have them put up the one since it is June 1st and then we go through the date and I teach them that today's date is June 1st and the year is 2023 so we say that all together a couple times today's date is June 1st 2023 and then I'll let them try by themselves if they want to I also during days of the week I will let them try to say the days of the week by themselves and a lot of them can do it pretty much for the most part and then this song is our count to 20 song um, once we get are able to master count to 20 I will do a count to 100 song but right now we're still working on 20 and then I let them each take turns counting to see how far they can get. We sometimes we are still getting stuck around 12, 13, 14. They forget those numbers sometimes. So we are working on that. And then we do a shape song. The song goes through several shapes. And it also, the way the song is, it kind of teaches them how to draw the shapes too, which I think is really cool. Um, so yeah, we really like this song. And then after this, we go over a song and it teaches them colors. And we just kind of go through each color to help them learn those. And then I pull these color cards and shape cards off the board. And I hold them up and let each kid kind of tell me what the shape is or what the color is. And then we sing a weather song. It goes through different types of weather. And then I pick one of the kids to go look out the window. And they will put um, a little arrow on this pie chart when we determine what the weather was for that day. And then we usually just sing a couple nursery rhymes to end up circle time. Today we did My Mother is a Baker, Itsy Bitsy Spider, and then this little ice cream song. I have a whole playlist of um, little nursery rhymes that I just pick a couple to do at the end of circle time. All right, friends, that was our circle time. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching that. It's been a while since I've shared circle time, so um, I thought I would do that for you today, kind of change it up a bit. And now we are coloring. I told the girls if we had time, we would also color. So that's what we're doing right now. We decided on crayons. Oh, I didn't open your crayons for you. I'm sorry. We did crayons and coloring books. Wow, lay it down so I can see. So pretty. You coloring a carrot. Very nice. You can color in the back too. That's a big one. I did it. Good job. Red. Are you mixing them up? Are you making a mercat? Cute. Are you coloring? She actually, the baby does pretty well at coloring, actually. I mean, she does better with markers because I feel like those are a little bit easier, but we're just going to do crayons today. Um, so I'm just going to sit here beside her to make sure she doesn't eat any crayons, and we're going to color, and then um, lunch will probably be next. So we will see you later. All right, so coloring lasted probably not even 10 minutes um one little girl's left still coloring are you still coloring yeah. okay and the rest of them are in the living room i put on the rest of our nursery rhymes that i usually do at circle time so they're just chilling the baby's running around getting some energy out um i almost guarantee you she will fall asleep during lunch or during dancey songs later because i don't leave her down i put her in the height chair during dancey's but as I say that, she might prove me wrong. She might not fall asleep. So I guess we'll see. But yeah, this is what we're going to do for the next like 15 minutes. And then I'm going to start lunches. So yeah, that's what we're up to. Um, we will check in with you later. Alrighty, it's lunch time. How's everybody's lunches? Good. Good. Good down here. How's your lunch over here? I'm good. Good. You eating your lunch? We're trying something a little bit new with the baby here. So I have been seating her right up against the table. I took the tray away, um, mostly just for lunches for now, just to, so she can practice feeding herself and she can, like eating with a plate, because the plate doesn't fit on her tray. And it's been going pretty well. She doesn't always have it down pat, but she does pretty good. And I have to help her get the bites with the fork, but then when she has it on her fork, she does pretty well. She turned one in March and 
it's not really an age thing, but just when I feel like they're ready, we start transitioning to this. I try to teach them to feed themselves and all this stuff so that in like a year, a year, year and a half, when she goes to sit at the big kid table, she knows how to use a fork and knows how to feed herself. So we are starting that process. And then my other friend who's sitting up here with me, this is your first time sitting up here, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I thought I'd let her have a turn. Usually I just let the bigger kids sit up here, but we're gonna let her have a turn. Give me your fork, you have, don't have a bite on it. And yeah, so that's what we're up to. We're gonna eat some lunch. I'm gonna log their food in my little daycare app. And then we will move on to the next part of our day. All right, now it's time to clean up the kitchen. I have all their plates dumped and I have to do the dishes in the sink. Some of this is from my dinner last night because I only do dishes one time a day and it's at lunchtime unless I do excessive cooking or something. But so I have to do last night's dishes, today's dishes and lunch dishes. And then I'm gonna lay out afternoon snacks. So I'll show you once it's all clean and the kiddos are doing some dancey songs and I'm watching them on the iPad. All right guys, I have all this wiped down, snacks laid out. Dishes are done. I wiped down tables. I have their beds thrown into the living room. I didn't lay them out yet. Um, but the kids are getting, the baby's getting like fussy. So I'm gonna see if she wants her bottle. I'm gonna change her, see if she wants her bottle. And then I'm gonna get all these kids laid down for a nap. So I'll probably see you after nap time. Alrighty guys, it is after nap time and the kiddos are eating snack. What are you guys eating for snack? Muffins. What else are we eating? Cookies and someone has some goldfish and a banana. Everybody's being quiet. So we're just eating some snack. Um, let's see, I'm trying to think. Two of the girls that usually leave right after nap are staying a little later today and then Probably almost everybody we picked up by 4.30 except for one. So one little girl's leaving in like 10 minutes and then the other five will probably leave within like the next hour, hour and a half. Yep. Are you gonna eat your cookies? Okay, then go clean them up and go try to go potty before you go home. Yeah, she'll pick you up after work, right? Yep, sounds good. So, I'm not sure what we're gonna get into after snack time, but I'm going to go put beds and stuff away while they eat, and we'll check in with you. Hey friends, so it is the next day, and I completely forgot to end out that video yesterday. Um, we didn't do much more after what I showed you. We just hung out in the living room and played, and um, then they left. So that was pretty much our day. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, like always, please give me thumbs up, comment, subscribe. All of those things help out my channel and they are so much appreciated. They're very appreciated. And I don't know, I forget the last time I said anything about monetization, but I got approved like super fast and now I'm officially approved and my videos are officially earning some money. So that's exciting. Um, and I'm just gonna thank you all one more time for getting me to this point and I appreciate you all. Um, so thank you, thank you. If you wanna see other content from me, you can find me over on TikTok and Instagram. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.